The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on watch. Watch, therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or in the morning, May he not come suddenly, whether in the evening or at midnight or at cockcrow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. When I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy New Year. Did you know today's the first day of the liturgical year? So we're starting a new year. And when you hear that, what's the first thought that goes through your mind? You should have partied last night, maybe? No. Uh, no, the reality is, it, it, for me at least, fresh start, right? One of the beautiful things we have in this world that God has created us in and created us for is a fresh start every day. But we as humans, we don't always think of it that way. But when we come to a new year, right, if it's January 1st, we have these New Year's resolutions that we think about. And we decide, okay, what am I going to do this next year that's different from the last year? And so I invite us to this morning, today, to reflect for a moment. This is a spiritual new year for us. We're getting a new clean slate, if you want to call it that. You know, what happened in the year before, what happened in the last 10 years, what happened in the last 50 years, whatever the situation is, we have today a new start, a chance to kind of refresh how we approach the world. And one of the things we're celebrating today is the coming of our Lord. The coming of our Lord, yes, it, in 20-some days, 22 days, Christmas. You remember Christmas, right? It's the day of the year when all the retail shops make a third of their living, right, off of the few months before that. It's the day of the year that they planned in Walmart six months ago and started putting the decorations out. And Christmas carols were being played, you know, 60 days ago on the radios. They ha say happy holidays, but they're doing it for Christmas. That's the reality. But we're also preparing for the coming of the Lord at the end. When he comes in glory and takes us home to be with him in heaven forever. That, that gospel reading, watch, it says, you don't know the time, you don't know the hour. I'm going to reread a line of this. This is very apropos because when I first read this earlier in the week preparing for today, this is what I thought. It is like a pastor traveling on vacation. He leaves home and places his deacon in charge, his associate pastor in charge. Father Daigle in charge, oh my gosh. <laughs> you don't know when he's coming back. Well, they all knew and hoped I'd come back on Friday, right? And here I am. But, but we have to watch, right? We have to watch and, and, and be vigilant in what's happening in our lives. God created us to live with him for eternity in heaven. This body will only last so much time, and we don't know how much time that is. We don't know if it ends today for any of us here. 
Some of us are probably closer than others. You can see my white hair, right? But the reality is we really don't know. But we're made for heaven. And he also gave us free will so we can choose how we live this life, how we take these moments that he has given us and give those back to him or be selfish and keep them for ourselves. Because we can do a lot of stuff that would make us happy or we think it makes us happy sometimes or it gives us pleasure or we think we're going for this goal, right? And then we find out as we get older, we find out some of that stuff don't even matter. It, it, I wasted my time doing that. You know, we're talking about a new beginning. We're talking about anticipating the Lord. But we're also talking about how we're doing. How are you doing in anticipating the coming of the Lord? How are you in watching for that moment that we don't know about? How's it going? Well, guess what? Fresh start. Happy New Year. That's what today is about. And we're here at Mass of all places. The most holy place we can be. Doing the greatest thing we can do. Coming together as community to pray. Yes, we bring our individual challenges, our individual sufferings, but we are the body of Christ. And we have these candidates at the front, some of them baptized, some of them not. Some will come into the church for the first time and be a part of that body. Some will come in full communion as we move forward. This is the reality of this moment, right? Is I get a fresh start. And maybe, maybe you're thinking, oh, I don't know that I want a fresh start. Well, we don't have to go back and relive it, right? We get to move forward from here. And being Advent, this is a beautiful moment because what do we do? In our preparation, in our being ready for the future, for this life eternal, we have these special moments during Advent that remind us. I'm wearing purple, it's a different color. We light an Advent wreath, right? We have a, an, an Advent day of prayer coming up. We have our penance service. We have all these different things that for us help us prepare for not only Christmas, that day we celebrate Christ's birth, but also ready for the end. For those moments, right, that, mo that moment, not those moments, that moment when God calls us home. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh start. I invite you to reflect on that today. Reflect on Happy New Year. Not in a secular way, even though it may affect how you live your life, but in a spiritual way. I guess I've preached too long, right? Somebody's getting... But that's okay. We love having children in church because that's the future of our world. And so thank you for being here. What a blessing. A fresh start for us, right? A fresh start for them. That's why we're here, is to welcome the young ones and teach the younger ones. That's why we're here. We're here to love on everybody, no matter who they are. That's part of our being Catholic. That's part of our being Christian. That's part of our being the body of Christ. May we celebrate this new year in a new way for each of us, more intentional in how we live our faith, how we honor and love our Lord and honor and love each other.